Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog and I got a package. So I reached out to uh, Pi Maroney, they're a UK based distributor of Raspberry Pi products and all sorts of cool stuff. And I reached out to them and I said, look, I've got a couple of projects in mind that I want to do. Do you fancy sending me out some stuff uh, so, so that I can do those videos? And they very kindly said yes, and this is what they sent me out. Um, now, first off, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I, As I said, I reached out to them. This was stuff I was going to get anyway. I gave them a shopping list of kit that I, I would have liked, um, and, and they sent sent it out. So, huge thank you to them. Um, links to all the bits and pieces here will be in the description. Um, I, I don't get a kickback or anything like that if you use those links, so just by all means go to Pi Maroney's uh, website directly if you want to get any of these. Um, so, let's take a look and see what we've got. Ah, looks great, doesn't it? I'm going to take it out of here just to get the box out of the way because I don't have a lot of space with the camera set up at the minute. Okay, so this is what I got. Uh, also, this. You can uh, you can see that there. Uh, this is already plugged in and in use. So I got two Pi Zeros. That was one you just saw. This is uh, the other one. So I got two Pi Zeros and uh, cases for them. Uh, these are the Pi Zero W, so they've got Wi-Fi enabled. Um, that is important for uh, this one, and uh, if you follow the channel, you'll you'll see what's going on with this. I'm making a uh, a little uh, rogue access point, a a pumpkin pie, uh, which is just a a wireless man in the middle. So I'm just making a really lightweight one of them. That was one project. I'm going to use this one in the other project, and that's what these are going to be uh, used for. Is two two RFID modules, and the whole idea is I'm going to demonstrate a a physical device that's used to attack. Um, doors and what it is basically you have one RFID uh, on one side of the device which is the reader and then you have another one on the other side which is the transmitter and if you this is in my uh, dummy door you may have seen that in a video and basically what you do is you put the device over the enclosure of, of the other uh, door reader and whenever someone scans their card it captures that signal and replays it to this. So the door still sees the signal and opens fine, but um, I, I've captured the signal and then whenever I'm done, I can lift the device off and um, take those codes. So that's, that's a, it's a, it's very similar to the gaming attacks you may have seen uh, that people have been doing on um, ATMs, you know, the lift card information. So that's what that one's going to be used for. But that's that. Um, I also got this, which is a little USB hat, a zero for you, uh, and it just gives four uh, USB ports on there. I'm actually not sure whether I'll need this for this particular project. It was it was going to be for this one. Um, I had thought I would maybe need more USB ports for this, but I think I can actually get away without it. So uh, that'll probably get recycled into another project. Um, another thing I got, you may have noticed there, is the, the little display that's on top of the Pi. You can see this one doesn't have it. You can see this one doesn't have it. And this is an e-ink display. Um, and it's a three-color one, black, white, and red. But they also have yellow, uh, another color. They don't have green. I was wanting to get green because, you know, hackery and having that green green uh, green text on a black background. But um, the red is quite nice as well. So I have that uh, mounted on this already. And then last bit in the care package is these. These are just some uh, lithium ion batteries. I believe they're two amp hour. Yeah, uh, two amp hour uh, lithium batteries. And um, got nice wee connectors on there for plugging into presumably anything. I would assume this could go into here if it wanted. Um, I'm gonna be cutting that off because um, I, I like to be able to charge these all in one unit. Um, so the likes of uh, this little door that you can, or the, the mock-up door uh, device that I made. Um, I, I like to be able to charge the cells directly from uh, the device. And so you can see this little chip here is a little charge controller. Um, so then it just, it, it manages that for me and I can just uh, plug, plug in a USB and charge it up. I'll be doing something similar with these. Um, I may need to buy more of those chips though. I, I thought I had a ton of them. I'm convinced I bought a bag of them. I don't know where they went. So, yeah. But uh, that's what they'll be getting used for. I don't know how well these will power 
uh, this or the Wi-Fi one. Um, I'm currently testing at the minute. It's it's not drawing a lot of power, maybe half an amp. Um, whenever it's under full load, so in theory it could last four hours, which that you know that that's 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 a reasonable amount of time for for uh, a wireless access point. Uh, to do some recon and for this um, I'm not sure I haven't started this one yet so those are all my goodies that I got from uh, Pimeroni again huge thank you to them um, yeah it, it was just amazing I was not expecting a yes <laughs> to whenever I uh, whenever I reached out to them so I'm really really thankful for that and um, if you want to see these projects the wireless access point one um, is, is what I'm working on at the minute uh, if you follow me on TikTok you'll see sort of quick short update videos but I will be doing one on YouTube, sort of step by step, going through the whole process, um, and then the next project is said going to be the RFID one, and that'll be the next one that I'll be working on. So, like, follow for more, all that good stuff, and I'll see you later on.